Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you the show home behind me. It's the Quilter, which is a three bedroom house on sale by Bellway Homes. So the stats are this house, like I said, it's a three bedroom. And at the time of filming this tour, it was on sale for close to £400,000. And that included all the finishes you're going to see inside. It's got parking and a garage. And also the approximate size of it is 954 square feet. If that sounds interesting to you. Stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. All right. Hello. Right. Thank you for joining us on this tour. So let's start about first impressions. As we walk in, we're straight into the hallway. You can see you've got this fantastic tiling um, throughout as well. Obviously that's an option that's available to you. The hallway as well is actually quite a nice size. It's quite square in actual shape. Um, and I think in terms of the width, it's quite open. It feels very open. You've got your glazed panel there with your viewfinder in the door, I love that security there and there's a little radiator here which means obviously this place is going to be heated during those colder months we'll show that in a second but first i want to show you the downstairs toilet very very accessible guys so you come through the front door you go straight forward into it so again very accessible and you've got your two-piece suite sink there a modest size sink and a toilet with a face plate rocker goods as well very good brand um as in it's a reputable brand known okay let's go over here so the this room is the kitchen this is your kitchen dining area and it flows round and i'll just give you a little bit of a taste so with the kitchen you've got the um, the worktops and all the appliances and they're fully integrated as you can see and I'll run through them really really quickly so you've got the window which faces the front garden over here bringing in lots of light one and a half ball by leisure and then so much storage so you've got storage under there all on soft clothes might I add as well and then you've got your dishwasher there is a new C as well sockets bank of sock switches there fantastic more storage 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 you've got your laminated worktop here as well and a light wood grain shaker style cabinets as well and in terms of heights of the cabinets they don't go all the way to the top so there is a gap obviously you can see that um, between that and the ceiling but again it's within reach uh, you, within reach as well so you've got cabinets there storage and i like the fact that they've not put the oven here they've put cutlery door which is very convenient gas hob stainless steel splashback extract fan by zanussi i love that and then again storage like i said you've got this is the kitchen which is an l-shaped kitchen but then there's an additional bank of um cabinets here this is your fridge freezer as well right next to your oven as well zanussi integrated oven again storage here and then that's your freezer on the bottom half there and more storage chrome handles and then it's in an off-white look again these are choices and selections that are available to you to make. You've got your dining area here. It's a six seater. I love the staging here. And then it overlooks your garden at the back in your garage door is there. So that's where you can get access to your garage next there. And then you've got the garden, which we'll show you more of in a second. So this is your, obviously your dining area. Like I said, the doors open up to the garden. And then if you come through here, I'll show you this bonus space. So this is the utility it's an additional bonus space straight off the garden so park at the back dump your stuff in the car at the back and then bring in the shopping through the back along the path and then through this door and then offload it in the kitchen or do anything here obviously if you're doing any washing you can put them there and take them out to dry in the garden your boiler cupboard is here and it's an ideal logic combi ESP135, storage underneath the sink, stainless steel sink, and then a space for your um, washer dryer. And then you've got your utilities there, your fuse board against the wall, and a radiator. So again, it's going to be a nice, warm, and cozy home. Let's go back into here. Again, you can see the size of the kitchen. Very spacious. It's not a tight kitchen by any means. And let's keep moving to the rest of the house. So you might have taken a sneak peek at this, at this room. This is your front 
lounge, your main lounge to this floor. Again, proportion wise, I always love a slightly rectangular room. This room, they have put my favorite L-shaped sofa. So they've cradled the space. So when they cradle the space, you know we are focusing on this wall, which is our focal point. So this room has, like you said, it's enough space to put a sofa here, a couple of armchairs either side. And then they've also added a little area here. Now, during the pandemic, this could have been a perfect work from home area, but right now it's a kind of like a study space, or you could have a bookcase there or additional sofas fitted in here. That's perfect. You've got additional garden access here facing the back. As you can see, again, just letting you know, guys, this garden is fantastic, but this is a show home. It's kind of, you know, boosted up for you to view and enjoy. Um, you would get paving slabs and lawn and then the rest is up to you to what you want to make of it. Um, so yeah, that's the garden. We've just shown you the garden. Again, this is living. You've got window facing the front. So it's dual aspect, front garden, back garden. Great. Now let's go to the first floor. Right, so now we're on the first floor landing. Can I just point out quickly, I love the fact that there's a window in here. So again, it's a great detail because let's say everyone's at home, all the doors are closed, all the rooms are occupied. Normally your upstairs landing is actually, <laughs> it's really dark. Not in this case, because you've got a window bringing in that natural light. So let's go into the first room, which is over here. The first room is a really nice size, so nice. They've staged it as being like a twin room, so twin beds either side. Again, you can clearly see you could fit in, you know, two single beds, or in this case, I think they're kind of larger singles, but really what we're here for is the fact that you can put a really big bed in the middle. I love the staging of this. Obviously, it's like space rocket theme, and then have you seen the ceiling here? So if you feel like this room is maybe a bit dark or a bit moody, atmospheric, it's because of the staging, guys. When you buy this house, uh, this house type, obviously it would all be painted white, so it would feel bigger, brighter, taller. But it's nice to see the furniture that we need to go in can actually fit in. A bed right in the middle, king size, two bedside tables, one headboard there, and then a window there as facing the front of the property. And then there's an additional bonus, which is behind this door. This is additional storage. It's a bit dark here, isn't it, guys? So if you were to buy this house, definitely request an additional light switch there. Maybe put one here so that it fills the space with more light. It's definitely a bonus of a new build as you can ask those questions. So again, coming in through here, You've got a single bedroom here, and I think this is actually quite a square shaped room, which means you've got lots of areas where you can um, put furniture. They've put the bed in that far corner, and that's quite a big bed if I have to say. It's a single, but yeah, it can definitely be made into a double. Or you could probably put like quite a small single bang in the middle with very small bedside tables either side. It does have a good size and shape to it. You can put wardrobes there, or like they've done with the dresser, or you can put the bed against that wall. I love the size of this single. It's quite a big single when, when it comes to singles. And then of course it benefits from the window facing the back garden. So let's keep it moving. Next room we're gonna look at is the family bath. It is beautifully tiled. Can we just have, take a moment to look how beautiful these tiles are? Again, the shower, the bath enclosure is fully tiled to the top because there is a shower above it and it's a thermostatic not an electric shower so you're going to get a nice um uh, the pressure of the shower is going to be really nice you've got a nicely sized bath by a rocker and then you've got your toilet and your sink as well a little chrome edge strip to the tiling as well in this beautiful grayish natural stone glass divider there and then behind the wall there's a radiator and then there's also a frosted uh, glass uh, glazed window there bringing in light and ventilation light and ventilation and then the final room on this floor is this primary bedroom again you have to walk in somewhat because this entire wall is actually the fitted wardrobes so with the fitted wardrobes taking out some of the space you still have enough for a king size bed and two bedside tables and then in terms of proportions the furniture has been upsized so they didn't use a small double with really tiny tiny 30 centimeter bedsides these are substantial 
uh, furniture pieces, which is what people like to put in their homes. So this is a good idea and you have the confidence here that a king size and bedside tables will fit here with no problem. You've got windows facing the front, double pane as well with a radiator. And then again, we've got um, an ensuite off this space and this ensuite in terms of size it definitely takes all the boxes the arrangement maximizes it it's not massive but again in terms of ensuite it's actually a really nice size again the bigger something is the more cleaning there is so if you can do the job within this containment that's what you want so we've got here a ledge a window frosted glass toilet sink over pedestal and then your shower with a sliding door thermostatic shower and it's all by rocker it's white with a shower tray and it's very 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 nicely done fully tiled throughout with a gray theme very neutral and easy to kind of work with and yes yeah, so that is the tour i loved having you guys come along with me if you found that interesting subscribe a video is going to pop up somewhere in this in a corner probably over there but if you saw anything we missed please leave it in the comment because we reply to our comments but most of all click bell icon so you're notified when next week next week's video goes up all right see you then bye